Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. No. When 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 I think about it though, like how because you hear all these all these uh, conspiracy uh, yeah. people talk about this or that and things that they say how, because you know I, I look at things and I'm like man you know I, for him to be driving around in those areas I know you guys probably were used to that but from the yeah. outside looking in you you like man dang like it's it, it's like certain things like I had a homeboy that pulled up here the other day in his Lambo truck um, he grew up here. It's not something that he do all the time. We was yeah. doing the show, um, and um, but at the end of the day, that's like he was like a sore thumb sticking out. You know, people that came by, I see him walk by several times because of the yeah. vehicle that's parked there because of how expensive it is. Mm -hmm. So, was it something that that Dolph just done? Did he when he would drive, he'd bring up, drive any kind of car up or whatever? Yeah, he was comfortable. I mean, that's your city. I mean, I don't know how it is in other cities and states, but in Memphis, man, love is love with us. Like, that's how he felt. You know, I'm in my hood. You know, I'm comfortable here. I don't want to be, you know, known as that multimillionaire artist. You know, when I come home, I'm home, and people see me as Adolf, you know, or they see me as Dolph, but they don't, they're not starstruck and so hung up on it. You know, I can come home. Yeah, but in straight. every city, but in every city, no matter how um, you feel that way, you're still going to have your haters there who wish they could be you because they're looking at your life and be like, man, I grew up with you. I went to school with you. Mm -hmm. I rap too. I, you sh I should be you right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And hate. Or I, or I or I work for a city job and you making all this money. I mean, you would you be in the same class together. And hell, you was you quit or yeah. anything. You know, what I'm just saying because yeah. I we all experience that when you right. start to level up. You know what I mean? We see that. I seen it. Yeah. You know, um, there's certain things I can't say outside of this. Like when Nipsey got killed. You know, in front of his store. I've been yeah. there several times. I used to frequent there, um, but I knew that what I say outside of this door driving the cars I drive, being the yeah. person I am, there are certain ways I have to carry myself because right. what I say amplifies to the person, whoever it is that's in these parking lots. You right. know what I mean? So you right. just got to be very careful when you start to level up in, in, in the neighborhood that you're from. Yeah, you know? we speak yeah. about that all the time. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think, you know, even though that, and that, that could be true, but I just don't think he felt that way. I just, I mean, because, you know, hey, I know, what, I know who I'm beefing with. You know, obviously he know who he beefing, uh, beefing with and everything. He knows this. But I don't think, you know, I think Dolph just had that kind of heart and that, that type of energy that he just didn't feel like that. He just did not feel like, hey, I got to have, you know, six, seven goons with me just in case. Or, man, I'm not going to get out the house at all when I come home. I'm just going to send somebody to get something. You know what I'm saying? Like they said he should have did. Yeah, like, I hear that a lot. That's know? something I hear a lot. But that's what they have to understand. Dolph, was been, Dolph had been coming to that store for 12 years. No one stop. So tell know? me something, because we have a retail store, as you know. Yeah. And um, customers come in and out, and we know them. Right. But how much did you really know him? Because, you know, they come in, me chop it up a little bit, and then leave. Mm -hmm. Come back, the same thing. But how well did you really know him? That's, that's how we knew him. He just came in repeatedly. And after a while, you just develop that type of relationship. Where, you know, in Memphis, you know, you walk in the door more than once in our store, you consider family. Mm -hmm. We're going to know you by name. And right. after a while, when we say, hey, you know, what's up, Dolph? After a while, he's going to want to know our name, you know, because we constantly saying the same thing. He's constantly seeing our face. You know, we're seeing his face. And it just went on from there. So when he started coming in, it was a regular greet. What's up, Raven? What's up, Mama? You know, what's up, Pops? Let me get that. You know, that. That's how the conversation was. So true enough, no, we weren't going to Thanksgiving dinners or, you know, hey, I got some free uh, tickets. Y'all come sit in the back with me type vibe. No, it was none of that. But when you look at the type of relationship we had when it came to a biz, my mom said she felt close to him because he was an entrepreneur. She's an entrepreneur. That's kind of how they link, you know. Then not to mention their birthday is the same. She, she just felt that connection. And that by itself meant a lot to her. Because she doesn't listen to his music. Obviously, I mean, she's 64 years old. But it's just the fact that, hey, you know, I see this man, this black man, he has all this money. You know, he has everything he could ever ask for. And yet he still finds time to come back home and walk into this shop and buy cookies. And, you know, like it's, all right, I see y'all, you know, when I come back type situation. I mean, that, that's what meant a lot to us. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.